In KSLA salutes, the VA's efforts to stamp out homelessness among veterans are bearing fruit. Now, since 2010, the number of homeless vets in America has been cut in half. And in the Arklatex, just over the past fiscal year, the Overton Brooks VA Medical Center helped find housing for 240 vets in Shreveport, Monroe, Longview, and Texarkana. So joining us now are Letitia Henderson and LaShonda Tatami of Overton Brooks VA Medical Center in Shreveport. So ladies, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for having us. A few questions for you. Why are we seeing homelessness be so a problem among our veterans? Well, there are actually many reasons that veterans are homeless. Uh, some of the common reasons we find is that um, there are um, uh, serious mental illness, uh, chronic addiction, years of um, untreated um, uh, issues that our veterans face, including medical issues. Um, oftentimes, there's minimal support. Um, relationships have been strained with family and friends. Um, and so that oftentimes leaves the veteran by themselves. Uh, and homeless oftentimes, uh, in addition to the, the economic situation. Um, so there are many reasons that veterans are homeless, um, and we found um, there to be those common reasons amongst the veterans that we serve. And that's why the VA is always working to meet those veterans where they're at and helping with some of the programs that you guys have rolled out. Absolutely. And so just thinking about some of those programs, really highlighting some of the things that Ms. Henderson just shared as far as um, the barriers that some of our veterans um, experience. And so within our program, uh, we have the Permanent Supportive Housing Program, which is hud -Vash. And so it allows um, them to be able to find housing within the community, um, as well as you're thinking about, you know, the serious mental illness. And so we have, you know, programs to address that as well as, you know, if they're um, facing or dealing with substance abuse issues as far as, you know, um, specific counseling um, to address those issues. So um, those are some of the, the programs as well as, you know, you think about the healthcare. So we have a specific HVAC team that um, really focuses on the healthcare to really meet veterans. You were saying meet veterans where they are. And so mm -hmm. truly we do meet them where they are um, with our PAC team that's a, a attached to the homeless program. What are some ways that the community can get involved and support you guys as we support our veterans? One of the main things that the community can do is one to, if you know a veteran who is unsheltered, homeless, or at risk of becoming homeless, refer them to the VA. Uh, our office is on Knight Street, but um, the main VA hospital, um, they can refer the veteran to the VA. There is no wrong door. Uh, the VA hospital knows about the homeless program and they will contact us. Uh, we can outreach to the veteran. Uh, if the community is aware of a veteran in an encampment where a veteran lives, um, they can contact the VA, uh, contact the homeless program, um, dialing the main VA number, 221-8411, ask for the homeless program, and they will direct them to our office, and we will go out to our community partners or wherever the veterans are to um, just engage them, to uh, educate them on the VA's homeless program and the benefits of, you know, transitioning from homelessness to, to housing. Great information. Well, ladies, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing this important information because I know that there are many people out there that benefited. So if any of you watching today know a homeless vet or one who is at risk of becoming homeless, there is help available. So just use that contact information there on your screen.